Number 13 then from the 2016 New Higher Maths Paper 1. There we go, five marks for a compound angle question. And it gives you the answer, so you know if you've got all your five marks. The triangles have been laid on top of each other though, so you could separate them if you wished. And say, well, here's the large triangle with Q in it, with a 4, a 3, so straight away a 5. And here's the smaller triangle with the angle P in it, with a 1, a 4, so that would be a root 17. Then it's just a case of look up the front. Cos Q, cos P plus sine Q, sine P, and then start picking out the bits and pieces. The cosine of Q, the adjacent side is 4. The cosine of P, the adjacent side is 4 again, but over root 17. Plus, now the sines. The opposite side is 3 for Q, and the opposite side is 1 for P. Common denominator of 5 root 17. So it's just 4 fourths are 16, plus 3 ones are 3. So you've got 19 over 5 root 17. Not quite the form, because they've rationalised the denominator. So multiply the top and the bottom by root 17. And you've got 19 root 17 over... You may as well put the working in first. Just so you're showing you're not just jumping in with 85. Root 17 times root 17 reconstitutes the 17. So 19 root 17 over 85. 35 and 3, 85.